started this party. So here goes Riley. Showing off nice streamline. You don't have many butterfly kicks at all. One, two, three, four. No, not that. However, watch your head. That's the first thing that came up. You don't want that to happen. You want to stay nice and flat on the water here and your body should be in line. So keep your head down at all times, okay? You see how high it is? My elbow? My no, your head. Yeah. Nice kicks, I like your kicks. Breathing is pretty good. You a little bit, you're losing your neck a little. Remember I'm talking about being seven feet tall? You pull your shoulders a little too close. So you want to stay tall, you don't want to lose your neck. Um, and when you take a breath, you, your kick is actually a little too wide, so you're losing balance a little bit. That comes from your what? It's right here. What is right here? My what? <laughs> no. My hips. Yes, your <laughs> hips and your core body. <laughs> your butt. <laughs> so that looks pretty good. I like how you don't have high elbow, which is totally fine if that works for you. But watch your left hand. It's chopping and it's over. Do you see how much over it is? So you got to make sure. It, yeah, that's what my coach is trying to work with. Yeah, and actually both arms doing that. You see that? When I breathe. Yep. That was distance per stroke, strokes per line. So you actually did. That's your coach. So you actually have pretty long stroke here, you're just overreaching all the time and your head is up, that's your biggest enemy, your body position should get better. Let's see what you do on the turn here. So you approach the wall, both feet over, pretty good, gotta push off, nice streamline, butterfly kicks, not bad, I'll take that. Just watch the butterfly kick. Relationship yes, yeah, and your knees are too low, okay. so you're almost like this right now, when you should be like that, okay? Because you're using your butterfly kicks to gain speed, and if you have big slappy ones, there will be no speed. And head pops out, and here, that stroke, you're almost like doing a catch-up drill. And your elbow is actually way too close to your body. So this needs to be like this, not like that. Okay? And let's see, let's watch you in a slow motion. And critique from there. So overreaching would be the main thing for you. I do like the kick. When you breathe, your kick is a little bit off, so you need to work on your balance through your core and your hips. You get overreaching. By overreaching, so instead of putting it in the middle, you're putting it you're right close to the left and right close to the right. Okay? Any questions about that? So, I need to work out constantly kicking. Alright, let's see what you got underwater. That arm is doing something funky. It's hard to see with all the bubbles. It's a good catch, Riley. I like that catch. You have nice elbow here, and then you're catching. That's exactly what needs to be. A lot of people kind of doing opposite. The elbow would be going here. So that looks good. Your underwater is pretty good. And this one you dropped your elbow a little bit. Okay. But you have a nice body position which many people are trying to get. See that? Practically straight body. I like that. And you're reaching far. Look how tall you look. You look seven feet tall here. I like that. So you just got to make sure that catch is going on time. Here you start to get tired and you're not catching until later. See how deep you go and you're still not catching? And only then you're starting. So you can do it a little bit earlier. All right. Any questions about that? Do you want to see anything? Well, no, not really. No, 
Okay. Um, what is 